Zionist settler violence must be stopped. On April 8, 2022, U.S. citizen Nasif Abdel Jabir was brutally attacked and beaten by Israeli settlers while on and attending to his land in the small village of Mohmes. The 63-year-old man was then arrested by Israeli police and is now facing unjust charges. In the early morning of March 23, 2022, armed Zionist settlers from an illegal settlement near the village of Muhmas on the outskirts of Ramallah stormed the village, threatened its residents, and vandalized their property, including a mosque and a clinic. Earlier in the year, on January 21, 2022, Israeli settlers attacked Palestinian villagers and human rights activists who were planting olive trees in the farming village of Burin, northern West Bank, and set a car ablaze, injuring seven people. Between November 1st, 2020 and October 31st, 2021, Zionist settler violence reached its peak since the UN began reporting Israeli settler violence in 2017. In several cases documented during that period, the Israeli forces were recorded attacking Palestinians alongside Zionist settlers. In over 502 incidents of settler violence, six Palestinians were killed and 170 Palestinians were injured, including at least 83 men, 32 children, and 11 women. Settlers also targeted Palestinian property, destroying 12,800 trees and vandalizing 242 vehicles. Here in the U.S., pseudo-nonprofit organizations like the Ear David Foundation, Israel Land Fund, the Hebron Fund, Atarat Kohanim, and Regavim fund and enable Zionist settler violence and must also be held accountable. The UN Secretary General and UN High Commissioner for Human Rights have repeatedly reported on the culture of impunity when it comes to settler violence. Palestinians do not have a way to hold settlers accountable for this violence. We need you to act now. Reach out to your member of Congress to demand that U.S. elected officials call for those who beat Mr. Abdel Jabir to be arrested, and that all settlers and their enablers be held accountable for their violence.